Hello everyone, Creative Venus here. And today we will learn how to design a beautiful logo in Microsoft PowerPoint. So in order to watch our tutorials and learn new tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. So let's begin with the tutorial. So the first step is to insert this shape and you can rotate it to the left like this. And after that, move this yellow dot to make it like a, nearly a complete circle. Then click on shape outline and remove any outline it has. Then go to shapes and insert this circle. Then remove its outline as well and fill a different color so that we can select it easily. Then match it with the height and width of the edges of the blue shape and place it at the corner. Basically, we want the round, rounded edges for this blue shape and for that we are using this trick. Now just duplicate this circle and place the second shape at the other end of this blue shape. You can always zoom in on the slide and move your keyboard arrow keys to move the shape up, down, left or right. So it's very easy. Make sure it fits perfectly on this blue shape and please take your time so you have to be very patient here now select all these three shapes and go to shape format merge shapes and click on union and you will get this shape so this will become a platform for our logo now insert a circular shape now we will create some layers over it and for that you need to insert this circle remove its outline then go to fill and increase the transparency so that you can see through this shape after that increase the size so we are trying to match it with the orange shape from the top So you can follow the steps like what I'm doing here. Now duplicate this orange shape. And now we have to subtract this circle from the right side. And for that you need to insert uh, another shape, this circular shape and draw a circle like this and place it on the right side of this blue transparent shape and then subtract. And now select this orange shape and then this shape and again you need to subtract and you will get this blue shape and this is one of the layers that we have created now again draw a circle now we will create a second layer increase the size of this circle increase the transparency And place it here so you need to see the kind of pattern you're trying to create and you need to adjust the circle accordingly and now again duplicate this orange shape and then select this circle and click on subtract and you will get this third layer now we need to fill some nice colors in this logo that we have created and for that we are following this purple and blue or yellowish kind of gradient you can also go with the blue shade but here I'm using the purple and the orange or yellowish kind of gradient. So here you need to be creative, you need to experiment like you have to adjust the flow of colors in all these three shapes and for that you need to move these gradient stops left to right and change their type and angles. 
so there is not any set pattern that I'm following I'm just doing it purely randomly and I'm experimenting like what kind of flow looks good you, you also need to understand the light how light is falling on this logo so there could be multiple lights here So in this third shape in the background at the bottom here you can see I'm trying different styles different settings I'm just trying to adjust I think this looks fine but I need to change this yellow I think it's fine So this looks uh, fine right now and now we need to do some more work on it currently it's looking very plain and for that let's duplicate this shape and go to shapes and insert this circle and let's create one more layer and subtract this from the circle for that you need to go to merge shapes and subtract and you will get this shape fill white color and place it here you can always zoom in use arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust and then increase the transparency like this and you will get this beautiful glo glossy kind of surface over this logo now we can create one more layer at the top on this part and for that you need to duplicate this part and eventually this was the base layer draw a circle and let's subtract it select both the shapes click on merge shapes and then subtract fill white color again and then place it here and make sure it, it is aligned and the edges are not visible then send to back along with the base shape so that it fits behind the shapes at the top now increase the transparency and here you can see this looks really beautiful so I think the dark color will not look good. Let's go back to white. So our logo is nearly ready. Now we need to do two things. First is we need to group all the items. Second, we, we need to, you know, uh, write the text as well. So I'm just doing some fine adjustments, just trying to see how it looks. If we go with the gradient, I think gradient is also looking fine. White gradient. So you can play with it, you know, you could try different color styles and shades to make it look more, you know, 3D. So I'm making the base more bright and now it looks much better. Now select all the items, press Ctrl G to group. So the logo is ready, just duplicate and paste it as an image. Now go to image settings move this sharpness sharpness levels to the left and increase the transparency slightly increase the size and send to back so it creates this beautiful glow effect you know uh, currently it's 
fairly visible but we need to further increase its transparency so this looks fine now let's apply the gradient fill in the background if you want to show this logo to a client how it looks on a different background white you have seen so this is how you can do it so let's make the background a bit darker so that the logo is visible and this yellow light is falling from top right and meanwhile if, if you find this video interesting and you, you, you have learned something new so please subscribe to our channel join the membership like this video share this video and do not forget to you know download this uh, slide from the g drive link provided in the video description and now we have to write some text here so it can be your company name or or any product you have developed so for that first align it to center and now let's add some text at the bottom go to insert text box and write some text so let's write creative winners our brand name for example move to center use some nice font so I'm going to pick some random font here, whichever looks good here. So most of it I've tried, I have tried many a times. So let's use some different font this time. But before that, let's adjust the size and the color and slightly increase the transparency so that it blends with the background. So let's let's make sure the text is looking fine and it is well placed and please do watch this video till the end because one last step is pending after the text we have to design a central portion of this logo so I'm trying a different form font here railway let's use some other font it, look, it looks very Plain. We want it to be a little stylish. So let's pick some font here. I think this looks fine for now. Let's go with this font. Not looking that bad, but it's different. I'm used to of watching, of viewing. Uh, Mostrad and railway so much that now this font is looking nice to me Now go to shapes insert a circle now we will draw a central part of this logo and for that we will create a beautiful 3d circle And for that we need to fill this gradient color and three stops gradient will create a spherical effect let's place it here and we also need to make it look very you know glossy and for that let's increase the transparency of the bottom part slightly and make sure it is at the center and also let's insert one more circle so here we have duplicated this only and apply the solid fill fill white color and then increase the transparency and further reduce the size and let's place it somewhere like here I think this looks fine so this is our logo and you can always export it as an SVG and this is the final output. I hope you will like it. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like, share, and spread this video with your friends and colleagues. And do subscribe. And we will see you guys in our next video. Till then, enjoy.